Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Today is episode 20, and I was thinking, what should we do for the 20th episode? And you know what? I got a great idea. Today we're actually going to go and explore the world and see what we have done so far in 20 episodes. And let me tell you guys something. Just to be clear, we have not done as much as we probably could have done in 20 episodes, but, but... We do have a village we're going to go and check out. So hopefully that makes everything a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and grab our horse here. Uh, by the way, I don't even know if we named this horse yet. I think we're going to name him like... I, I just realized. I don't even think I named these horses yet. And we don't have any name tags. Oh, jeez. Hopefully we get our uh, like automatic fish farm to get ourselves some name tags. But I think maybe it's about time we do name the horses. We got plenty of horses here. So in the comment sections, just list one, two, three, and four. And all of those will be named like four horses or something like that. So just go ahead and give me your opinions on what names we should name the horses. If we can get some name tags uh, sometime soon. Hopefully by the next episode. But yeah, like I said, today is the 20th episode um, I'm not really too happy with how much progress we've done in 20 episodes, but I am happy for how far we got. So it's a good thing. It's just a feeling that I wish I could have done more by 20 episodes, but that doesn't stop us. What the heck did stop this horse? <laughs> That's ironic, but oh great. Oh my gosh, there's lava over there. Uh, wow. Perfect timing for this storm to hit right in. Am I right guys? All right, let's go ahead and, uh, just go ahead and get some rest. I'm pretty sure we have our bed just hanging out over here. Horse, please don't leave my side. There we go. Perfect. So we're going to go back on this adventure. Now, I found this uh, this pretty much like a small village past the jungle biome. So we're going to have to go through the jungle biome, which is going to be an adventure for sure because it's just the jungle biome. You never know what you're going to run into over there. But uh, in the meantime, I am going to be doing a tour of the world when we get back. Uh, and I do want to talk about a few important things uh, for the series and also for the next coming week or two. So if you guys do not know, August 9th, which is this coming Wednesday, I'm going to be off on pretty much a two-week vacation. Um, and during that two-week vacation, I'm going to try my best to have a few uh, pre-uploaded videos. So you guys will have some videos on the channel during those two weeks. Uh, so I don't know exactly how much you guys are going to get to see. There definitely isn't going to be, like, for example, everyday uploads during my two-week kind of vacation. It's going to be very difficult for me to prepare two weeks worth of videos so we're gonna try to have at least maybe four videos a week uh, so that's eight videos during those two weeks would you think about it it's not too bad uh, I think it'll work out fairly well I'm gonna try to split it up I do have uh, during the week though we are gonna so to bring it all up guys I'm gonna be like kind of like working on a crafting dead role play again it's going to be different it's not gonna be like fear the crafting dead it's gonna be a new map new characters and things of that nature so uh, all of that is going to be different which is why oh my gosh that would have been horrible if we just fell to our death and speaking of that uh, how do we get back up up. Oh man, did I just really mess this up? Hold on horse. Let's see if this horse has any hops here Let's hope this this horse has some hops and oh, okay. Okay. Okay horse. I see you. That's pretty good uh, But yeah, so speaking of the role play there will be a craft and dead role play coming in the next few days I am going to try that it's kind of it came out of the random pretty much I wasn't really planning to do one until I thought about it again um, And it hap it's happening now So that's something that hopefully we'll see if you guys are excited for now when it comes to naming this crafting dead role play I was thinking of naming it like, you know fear the craft and dead and just renaming it and rebranding it but I'm thinking maybe we could just call it a Craft and Dead roleplay. I'm not sure. So let me know what you guys have to think about that in the comment sections. I'd really appreciate it. And geez, how dense is this jungle? Oh, I saw I saw hope. I saw some sand in the distance. There we go. And there is the village. That's the village I was talking about. And by the way, we should definitely get some cocoa beans so we can make ourselves a few farm. But I'm thinking in the next few episodes, we should probably work on a type of like jungle uh, town or something like that. That would be kind of cool. I'm just looking to see if there is anything around here. I always wanted to try this. I want to try this right now. So if we break one of these, I think everything here should fall. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't that dramatic. <laughs> All right, let's go to the... Hey, Bunny, how's it going? You blended in right in. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're definitely going to get some cactus as well. Uh, I don't know if we're going to worry about the farming stuff too much, but this is very good because we have 
we have i just realized we have villagers here which is gonna be just perfect for us because if they're good villagers hey we could probably trade but let's not keep this going for too long there's a lot of villagers but what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go into this blacksmith and get our stuff but i mean these guys are right here what do you guys have for us here anything good townsmith okay nothing too amazing we will be taking a look at them eventually we're definitely gonna want to keep them safe for future trades we do and hopefully we don't lose our horse but oh let's see what you got just paper okay i see what you're doing there that's no good trade all right let's find out what it is inside here all right not too bad we have some gold some more iron helmets and some tools and plenty of bread and that's pretty good because i just realized i do not have any food so that goes very well for me i'm gonna store those store those in there and what is this we have new achievements here okay that's pretty cool uh that's awesome i like that uh all right so let's go ahead and see what type of villagers are around here so we know look at our friendly horse is making friends with the with the villagers around here that's what i'm talking about all right leather work not too good we're definitely gonna have to take some of these books though uh, but we could definitely make this into a villager trading area. Maybe instead, instead of moving them, it's fairly close to our town. I think a train station will be perfect to bring them all the way here or to bring us to get to the uh, villager trade station. And you know what? I think it's a cool idea. It'll definitely allow us to work a little bit more into the sand biome as well, which is going to be something cool to do. So, yeah, we're definitely going to work into making this a trading center possibly. And I think I like this idea. I think that's a good idea. I just thought about it on the spot, and I'm quite happy with it. I don't see any librarians, though, around here. Uh, these guys look like they're talking. They're like, who's this guy? Yeah, I'm just a, I'm just a random dude. Relax, guys. Fisherman. All right, so I don't see any librarians uh, just chilling around here. But it's okay. We got what we needed. Let's go on our tour. And, geez, I haven't really explored past this area as much. So, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the world that we have so far. Now, oh, we should definitely make a rabbit farm, too. I mean, this is perfect. Guys, next few episodes, we're going to be here. We're going to be working. Definitely going to be working in the jungle biome as well. I'd really want to go and explore. We did mention we want to get some cocoa beans. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and we should get some watermelon and some pumpkins. So let's get a few of them. All right, hopefully the horse doesn't go out of here. But definitely, we're definitely going to take some of the uh, watermelon and have ourselves a watermelon farm. It'd be really cool to have a nice tropical farm in the jungle so we can work on a small... Uh, village in the jungle, which would be something I'm actually kind of interested in doing. So that's something I want to try. All right, let's go ahead and get the cocoa beans. I think we'll just get a few. Actually, there was only one there, so uh, that worked for the best. Uh, let's go. Anything else? We can make cookies now. We definitely have some pumpkins back at the house, but, you know, it's not going to hurt to take a few more so we can prepare for the Halloween eventually in October, which is a few months down the road, but it's, it's good to prepare for that. Let's go ahead and grab some more cocoa beans. That's what I'm talking about. All right, nice. Guys, I'm really thrilled to start working in the jungle biome as well. It's something I want to do for sure. Uh, do we have no horse armor on him? We should definitely put horse armor on our amazing horse here. So, yeah, we got to figure out... Oh, my gosh, that would have been a bad drop, but I guess we have good... I guess the horse has good shocks, guys. He's holding in pretty well. This is an ambitious course right here for him, but he's doing quite well. All right, so let's get the heck out of here. It's always the worst going through the through the woods with the horse. That should be something, like, honestly, they should probably fix it maybe for, like, future updates when you're, like, traveling with a horse and going through, like, the woods because it, it really isn't that easy. It's, it's kind of difficult. All right, hopefully I didn't lose our home because I'm not really recognizing this place too well. Oh, wait, maybe <gasps> a donkey. We haven't seen a donkey in, like, ages. What the heck? There's a whole squad of donkeys. <laughs> Whoa, what's up, guys? All right. Yo, look at this donkey. He's, like, the leader. He's, like, the pack. He's, like, the leader of the pack. Look at him. He's, he's just, like, he's, like, the wise man. He's <laughs> staring off into the distance. He's, like, yeah, I've seen things. I know things. <laughs> it's just, this is perfect. This is great. All right, so we got the donkey tribe here. All right, that's what I'm talking about. How's it going, dude? So... Uh, yeah, you're definitely a cool dude. So we're definitely going to come back here maybe eventually in a few episodes and, and get some donkeys. Now, I'm trying to realize where the heck am I? Because I feel like I just got completely lost from getting distracted by the donkeys. But, but I think we should go ahead and follow that direction, which is where I think our home is. Hopefully. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it's in that direction. I see, see the biome that looks very similar. Oh my gosh, there's so many creepers in there. All right, I see them. Okay, it definitely has to be in that direction. If not, then we're lost, guys. And that is not a good thing to be right now when you're just with a horse. There's more... Oh, wait, no, these are horses. Is there a donkey here? No, okay. All right, I was going to say, the donkey's blending in. And, whoa, this place looks quite cool. Guys, we're definitely lost. But, I mean, it's not, not too bad, right? I think it's not too bad. If we go on top of this hill and find out where the heck are... I mean, how do I get this lost? This is kind of weird. 
I mean, how do I get this? How how do I end up getting this lost? Possibly, it's pretty crazy. All right, let's go and get a view from the top here and see where the heck are we? Because I feel like we're not too far away, but I feel like we might be. Oh wait, I remember this. Oh gosh, don't fall in. I remember the lava. Okay, we're close. Jeez, I almost fell in just now. Okay, wow, we have a better view than I expected. There's some cool mountains around here. We definitely have to explore for the winter time. All right, so we made it back in peace. So now we're going to go ahead. We're going to put our donkey. Uh, let's just leave him. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, geez. Okay, let's just put him inside here. We can't do that. Okay, great. We're just going to... I have no idea where I'm going to leave this donkey. I mean, you know what? We'll just show you guys around here quickly. You guys already seen what's been happening in this part of the town. This is the lumberyard area of the map right now. Uh, we're still going to be developing this area for sure. But we do have, you know, this area underground, which I'll show you right now. We have, like, our workshop station in here. We still are developing up there. It's quite basic. Uh, and the horse again is wandering off and other than that we have our lumberyard area where this is where the wood goes goes down there We're gonna have some floating logs in the uh, area as well down there when we do have a chance to work on that This is just like a small home I guess and then over here is the extension of the underground Mining area so what I've done is I actually cut out an area that you can actually travel from both sides And you guys will see just what I mean about it So this area right here is going to be a big area for just a big uh, mining Mining uh, part of the world, so we're gonna have a lot of mines here. Um, and it's gonna look pretty cool and down here. I've done some work already as you guys can see uh, This is like a little area underground for like the mining section and it really is growing towards its theme that I have in mind It's like a little station underground and I really love the way I designed this here. Uh, you guys have not seen this It's updated. I've been working on it a lot and I really am loving everything So we're gonna make sure everything is themed in the same way when it comes to working in the bigger area I showed you down there So that's a future project as well down here. We have our zombie spawner which in a few episodes i'm thinking of making a video on the zombie spawner uh not zombie spawner but mob grinder for the zombies when we do get a chance to work on that so that's going to be coming in the next few episodes for sure uh, and that's pretty much this area it's kind of an area full of just like uh you know workstations um and busy stuff that would happen for a town you know everything the dirty stuff happened here you know like the mining the coal mining everything um, and it's kind of an abandoned town too. That's what it was themed. It's called the mountain town, but uh, it really is like an abandoned mountain town. Now, where the heck did we? Did, where did this horse go? Go! Come on now. What? Oh, there you are. Okay, you're all good now. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, eat some bread because I just realized we are kind of low on food. But thank God we found that village with food in it. Um, and now we're gonna go quickly grab some rest as we walk to the main portion of the city Which is not as developed this area has actually been in the progress for such a long time now This is also the tent area. It's kind of a campsite that we've developed. It's really really cool It reminds me of the walking dead. I don't know I just wanted to build like a campsite and I really love this campsite really uh, It really brings this area to, to, to life So uh, that's definitely that's where the inspiration came from from the walking dead and over here We have our horse stable which we are going to go ahead and drop our horse off he did a great job today so we're gonna put him in here and we're gonna go off and we're gonna go and get some rest oh no creeper no bad holy smokes that oh no get away no get away okay that is the freaking scariest thing ever oh my god guys all right so this is the stable area as you can see we have a truck we're gonna go get some rest before i go and continue this tour because as you guys just saw that creeper legit just scared the, the heck out of me i don't usually get scared by creepers because since the update now they're just the most OP thing ever. They just sneak up on you and you do you just never know. Like I thought it was worse before. No, I take it back. It's it's a lot it's a lot worse now. And uh where the heck is my why? Why is why why do you have to be here? Don't blow up. And they do light up. Look at that. Cuz I have the better lighting mod on, which is great. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, we see the zombies. They're interested right now. Please back off. You know what? We're going to we're going to go straight to the OG cabin and we have an enderman right there. Wow, this is like the first enderman I've seen in a while. Uh no, I'm not going to talk to enderman. I don't want to talk to you right now. I want to do a world tour and it's not working out so well. <laughs> but you know what? It's a be better idea to start from where we started off. So, you know what? Not too bad. All right. Let What? No, there's no monsters nearby. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, God. Don't blow up. Jeez, why does everything have to be so difficult right now? I struggled to make a world tour. Just a little little world tour, and, it, and it's just backfiring so hard right now. All right, Creeper. You're just... I've had enough of you. I just need to get some rest. It's been a long day. We traveled in the desert, okay? I need some rest. Let's get some rest. There we go. Perfect. All right. So now I get to show you the rest of this world. 
that would be a horrible time if a creeper just pops up. So this area is the first area we ever started this series. It's a small cabin, as you can see. It's very small and compact. Uh, we got we still have stuff in here too, which I actually have to move over eventually. We got some diamonds, golden apples, and some more good stuff. Uh, we have some other things in here. Basic smelting area. Over here we have some chickens, which you know we should move to the farm eventually. Over here we have our good friend Scooby Doo. He's just hanging out in his little crib right now. Uh, we're definitely going to have to expand his crib and make it better. But you know what? Scooby-Doo can come with us. Come on, dude. Hopefully, he does follow us. I think we have some food for him. Yo, Scooby-Doo, do you like watermelon, dude? Because if you do, that would be freaking awesome. Oh, you don't. Okay. Sorry, Scooby. Just go ahead and follow me if you'd like. I don't know why he's not following me. I think he's upset because we've we have kind of haven't seen him in a while. I mean, do you like bread? Obviously, you wouldn't like bread. Oh, okay. Hey, okay. There we go. Let's go. Let's go, Scooby. Follow up. Let's go. So, yeah, over here we built a bridge. I think he's going to follow us. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Finally, we see Scooby-Doo in an episode. Everyone's been asking about him. But, yeah, we built this uh, little bridge here. It looks fantastic. Uh, and then over here we have this little underground passageway that reminds me like a Hobbit area. Um, and it looks pretty awesome. So, I love that passageway. Over here we had a – eventually it was like a small little – uh, area for the horses to stay in when we first started this and over here we have our main town which is still in development this is what i meant i wish i worked on this a little bit more we have some trees i did plant around here which making everything look a little bit more together and come to life a bit this is the tower we built which is pretty cool because we can go straight to the top and i don't think scooby can travel up here but we can go straight to the top and you have a pretty awesome view besides this tree being in the way but you have a pretty awesome view of what's around here we definitely want to make this a bit taller from what people have been saying uh and that's something i'm definitely I'm gonna be working on so let's go ahead and jump down in the water here we go we climb back up so yeah hey you're going for a swim there so yeah around here i just hear some some zombies or creepers or spiders but yeah around here is pretty much the main town over here we have our storage unit which is full of everything here um and it's pretty much has everything it's still not completely done with like storage wise as you can see there's a lot of empty chest but we're gonna have to like fill them all in eventually uh this is one of our first builds we built and then over here you can walk through we have our armor room, which is quite empty as well, so we still have to work on this for sure. Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, so let's go back up to the top, and I'm going to show you guys. This is a really cool inspired theme I had going on right here with the passageways that goes over, because I wanted to inspire it like uh, Assassin's Creed. That's kind of what I had in mind, and it actually looks quite cool. Oh, there's the spiders, and what else is down here? Okay, that's an empty room. We're not going to do much with it right now. We're just going to hop back down here. Now, over here what we have is a little park. Uh, that we built next to the dog adoption center and this right here is the dog adoption center and it's doing pretty awesome scooby i guess is going to visit his friends so as you walk in here we have all the other dogs and 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 they're just chilling in the backyard which is awesome we have a we have a, a horse just like i guess talking to this dude uh and yeah it's pretty cool over here you can actually step over it and you get a bone for like a treat for like the wolves actually let's give scooby to a treat this is not like bone I, I, they should be able to eat the bones no I guess it's for taming too, but like you should be able to eat the bones, whatever. So let's go ahead and let Scooby-Doo come with us. Over here is like a little area that they can go and sit down if they get adopted or anything of sorts. Uh, this was supposed to be a, 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 a paw, like a footprint from a dog, but it, it's an epic fail. But okay, it, it works good enough for now. Uh, and then there's some other stuff in here. This right here is the potion room, which we do have to fill it up because it's quite empty. It's kind of like themed as a bar, but this is the potion room. Uh, we're going to have to work on it eventually as well. And then moving on over here, we have like a little market area, which we still have to develop. And then going on to this building is the enchantment room, which is still in development, as you can see, but it has a really cool vibe to it. So it's pretty nice. And over here, we have our barn, which is one of the first builds we built as well on this world. And the barn is pretty much has animals inside it, and we're still going to have to develop develop it uh, a bit more as well but we have land uh, we have sheep uh chicken and what <laughs> what happened here i thought they were supposed okay maybe maybe not maybe i don't know maybe oh i think we're gonna put llamas in here that's where we have to find llamas okay yeah that's the next plan and we have our cows over here and by the way uh yeah you know i'll feed you later scooby <laughs> over here we have a little farm uh, which is doing pretty good it's mostly for decorations but it's doing quite well and last but not least we have our stable area which i did show you earlier but i didn't show you to the exact extent of detail so over here we have our truck that drops off hay and the best part over here is that if you you're a horse and you're living in here you can actually eventually we can keep these open so you get to walk around and as you're walking around you have your little passageway you can cut around this corner and wasn't there a creeper here before hold on there was a creeper here before where is this creeper i'm pretty sure he was around here maybe i'm mistaken maybe he just went poof okay all right 
Hopefully he's not. Maybe he's in the water. No, it, we'd close everything off. But yeah, okay, he's gone, I think. But this area right here is like a little backyard for all the extra horses we have that are just hanging around. Um, and it's quite nice. I mean, it's not too bad. We still can develop it. Over here we have our underground little uh, bridge or tunnel, if you want to call it. Um, and it's pretty nice as well because it adds a little bit more detail to it. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I really love this truck as well. Um, and everything we've done so far, I'm happy with, and we still have a lot to go. But so far, I'm pretty pleased. We have plans to go. We still have projects, a lot of projects. And definitely leave me your feedback down below in the comment sections. And this right here was a house I was going to develop, but for now, it might be turning into something else. Uh, and I'm trying to think if there's any ideas we should do for it. So let me know down below in the comment sections. I'm thinking of either leaving it or remodeling it. And how's it going, horse? You just like straight up jumped in this in the in the footage. All right. <laughs> uh, but other than that, guys, this is gonna be the end of today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed episode 20 of the world tour and also the little bit of the uh, village finding session that we had. We're gonna enjoy ourselves to some watermelon, and that's gonna be it for today's episode. Like I said, if you guys haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you are new and also don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notifications and can be part of the notification squad and last but not least i'm gonna go ahead and plug in the brand new server that i actually own and it's called the den mc you guys can go ahead and check it out when it's open it's not open yet but it will be open august 11th i believe that is friday uh if not friday then it will be saturday but we have a lot of cool projects there we recently merged with another server to bring their ideas on our server as well including our ideas we have a lot of cool updates so make sure you go ahead and follow our twitter and our instagram for the den uh they're also down below in the description and that is pretty much it guys don't forget to join our discord as well that's it so thank you again for watching my name is alexon peace out and stay foxy